when the triggers happen because it's not an if it's a when um, absolutely they have the tools that they need kind of just like us we're going to practice them in real time that's something i i'm looking forward to sharing is are yeah. those tools to practice in real time um specifically like breath work meditation really grounding into our body even the yeah. physical practice of like asana and yoga we can do it in a chair you don't have to you don't have to be mobile yes to do these things you can just have a will and there's there's such amazing um science and uh research done about when we simply close our eyes and imagine doing the thing our brain makes the connection as though we are physically doing it so we still reap the rewards right so even if you're laid in a bed in the hospital and you can't move all you can do is close your eyes and think about something we wow. can give people things to think about that will help heal them i love that that's amazing i didn't know that yeah yeah it's phenomenal i do know though i practice this all through my journey yeah. to see myself perfectly healthy and to every time i had the chemo or radiation the chemo i always said this is the healing juice instead of you know how people is like poison i was like no it's my healing juice and i just imagined it i would just close my eyes and imagine it just killing the cancer cells that were there you know and the lymph node yeah and radiation this is what um works for me somebody suggested instead of thinking they're microwaving me mm -hmm. um i thought these are the rays of god or whoever you believe in the universe um mm -hmm. all that is that are healing me they're the healing rays of god and that's all i thought and you know they're short so it was easy to meditate for five minutes yeah and yeah and so as the thing was like because you know you see you so know it, around, you know, you know. right and so as it was going around i was like oh i can feel the rays of god just killing every cancer cell and healing yeah. me and you know and i think that that is a very important part and i know that some cancers are like super fast growing and you know it's yeah. doesn't mean that if you do this and it you don't heal that there's something wrong with you you know but yeah. i feel that it helps you physically mentally emotionally to kind of just focus on the healing part of the journey yeah. you know that doesn't mean that we're not going to have times when we're crying or we're angry about it or yeah. we're frustrated or we're like we feel like we're going to die sometimes you feel like you're going to die yeah yeah, I literally, <laughs> literally, yeah. Like the first treatment, I very much did. I was like, "Is this, is this how I'm going to feel for the rest of my life?" I know that's not necessarily logical, but yes. I, was laying, I was laying on my couch, going, "I am in so much pain. I am in so much discomfort. If yeah. this is what it's like the rest of my life, um, hard yeah. pass." Um, but then, you know, you got to rein it, rein it back in and go, no, 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 this is temporary. The body will reset itself. The body is an amazing tool and an amazing healer. And we're giving it all the tools, the juice, like you said, that makes us whole again. Yes. Yeah. And I love uh -huh. how yours, yours was super sweet. Like it's healing juice. Me. I was like, oh, hold up. What did I say? I'm sorry. I'm like, I laugh at my own self. Um, you, you were saying it's healing juice. I was like, fill me with the poison. Make me death. I love that. Like, the, we're like the yin and yang. Right? <laughs> Literally, I was like, I'm not like I want to die like physically. Yeah, no, like, I know exactly what you're world, saying. But I was like, I am so ready to die. I'm so ready to get rid of this old me. Right. Boom, don't kill it, kill it, kill it. I'm ready to come back. And I tell you, whoo, yes, I am not the same person. And I am grateful. Same here. And you know, when I tell people cancer was actually a blessing in my life, they yeah. think I'm crazy. They think I'm nuts. But I think it was the only thing that got me out of my ego completely. Mm -hmm. Not completely, because I still have an ego, obviously, but, but acting from my ego, <laughs> acting from my ego instead of acting from my higher self, you know, mm -hmm. where the ego is like self promotion and oh, I want this and oh, this person has that. And why am I not there yet? And, you know, and all these things were higher purpose it's like now my purpose is to love and help others in any way that i can and yeah. when we do that because we are a reflection of each other we're all one then as i'm helping others i'm really helping myself we're helping each other yeah. you know when yeah. we help somebody else we're really helping ourselves too literally 
Again, yep. there's science to prove that. At the beginning of all of time and space, let's just go there. We Every bit of energy and matter was compressed into the size of a teeny tiny little pea, probably smaller. Yep. So through the principle of, um, oh, 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 um, I forget what it's called. Oh my gosh, anyway. Uh, the Big Bang Theory? Huh? The Big Bang oh, Theory? Theory? Yeah, but it's taking that small little pea and having it expand all the way out and yeah. continue, continue, continue. We were all once the same cell, the same organism, yeah. the same little bit, which means we are all in vibration with each other, with all things, with all matter, with all everything. Yes. So what you feel, I feel, whether I'm aware of it or not, and vice versa. A hundred percent. It's science. Yeah. A hundred percent. And you know, I feel like whenever my ego gets in the way, like, oh, you don't have enough followers, or you don't have this, or you don't have that. My higher self goes, uh, girl, you had a purpose. We don't have time for this. <laughs> my higher yeah. self is like, no, honey. Yeah. No, exactly just shut up because we you really don't have time. Don't have time. <laughs> uh, it's true. It's yeah. true. Uh, yeah. I still, you know, I still have my own flares of that sort of stuff too, or like self judgment. Yeah. And then I have to remember, yeah. I'm good. Like I had, I had a little thing uh, go on today. I'll tell you more about that later, but um, where I was like, oh, I'm nervous. I don't know if I want this. I don't, uh, I don't know. And then I went, well, what if you just say yes? And if you want to say yes, say yes. And if it doesn't work out, you'll figure out something else and go do yep. something else. Try the thing. If you're thinking you want to try the thing, try the thing. Even though you're a little scared, try the thing, right? Yeah. That's, that's thanks to cancer. Yes, because yeah. it makes you brave because you look back and you're like, I did chemo radiation. I've been through hell. I thought I was going to die. Mm, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, I can do this. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. it's no big thing. deal. You know, we worry about, that's another thing we worry before cancer, we worry about just the smallest things. And now it's like the worry wants to come in. I'm like, no, mm -hmm. I'm taking care of. Everything always works out for me. And it's the truth. It and does. then it all works out in the end. So why am I going to waste precious time? As we know, we can go like this, right? In two seconds, we can be gone. So why waste precious time worrying about things that don't even exist? Right? The future isn't even real. Right. Okay. So, it's all a bunch of presents. That's quantum physics. The yeah. past and the future doesn't exist. Yeah. The um, So part of my experience today was uh, sitting in my own space going, okay, here's what I, here's what I want to happen. And I walked myself through it and I saw it happening. I went boop, 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 boop. And then this, and then it happened exactly that way. I love that. It's all connection. It's all yes. connection and it's all manifestation. It also comes back to being fearless enough to ask for what you want and to show up for yourself. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. No fear in a yeah. good way. Exactly. No, f yeah. I mean, and fear is just excitement. Fear is just excitement of the unknown. I love that you say that because every time I have butterflies in my stomach, I'm like, oh, I'm nervous. I'm like, no, I'm excited. Yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, I'm I'm scared or I'm nervous. No. I I'm actually excited that I'm going to do this.